Uh, are Devon streets too cluttered with signs, railings and bollards? Uh, the government thinks so. It wants local councils here in Devon to cut the clutter. Gary Streeter is a Conservative MP for South West Devon. He agrees. Well, I, I've just noticed over the years that street furniture and clutter has grown like topsy. Uh, and I've also noticed that in parts of London, where of course I reluctantly have to spend four or five days a week uh, when Parliament is sitting, yeah, that there's been, a, there's been a determined effort to remove street furniture, uh, and the place looks a lot better. And what I think is happening is that um, items are being added exponentially, and things just keep growing and growing, and we forget how pleasant a street escape can look without any of this clutter at all. And sometimes we are really spoiling the look of our streets and the free flow of traffic through our streets by just going over the top. Let's, let's ask ourselves the question, do we really need it? But certainly some places you go, you do see so many barriers, barricades, signs. Uh, you begin to wonder, you know, are we living in a free country any longer? Seeing the local authority coming in and imposing signs and barricades and barriers for no real reason. And just simply ask the question, do we need it all? I would like to see some of the stuff being removed. I think the government's got this right. Local councils ought to listen to this because everyone wants to save money and actually not spending money on some of this street clutter uh, would be, I think, to everyone's advantage. There's too much of it and it's ruining the character of our towns and villages.